Satellite imagery showed that China's newest nuclear-powered attack submarine sank alongside a pier while under construction, a senior U.S. defense official said Thursday. The sinking of China's first Zhou-class submarine represents a setback for Beijing as it continues to build out the world's largest navy. Beijing has become increasingly assertive in pursuing its claim to virtually the entire South China Sea, which is crucial to international trade. Meanwhile, China faces long-time territorial disputes involving others in the region including Brunei, Malaysia, the Philippines, Taiwan, and Vietnam. The United States has sought to strengthen ties to its allies in the region and regularly sails through those waters in operations it says maintains the freedom of navigation for vessels there, angering Beijing. The submarine likely sank between May and June, when satellite images showed cranes that would be necessary to lift it off the bottom of the river, said the official, who spoke on condition of anonymity to provide details about the submarine loss. China has been building up its naval fleet at a breakneck pace, and the U.S. considers China's rise one of its main future security concerns. A Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson said Friday he was not familiar with the topic and did not provide any information when asked about it at a Beijing press conference. The U.S. official said it was not surprising that China's navy would conceal it. The submarine's current status is unknown. The identification of the sunken nuclear submarine was first reported by the Wall Street Journal. Thomas Sugart, a former U.S. Navy submariner and an analyst at the Center for a New American Security, first noticed the incident involving the submarine in July, though it wasn't publicly known at the time that it involved the new Zhou-class vessel. Satellite images from Planet Lab's PBC analyzed by the Associated Press show what appears to be a submarine docked at the Shuangliu shipyard on the Yangtze River before the incident. An image taken June 15 appears to show the submarine either fully or partially submerged just under the river's surface, with rescue equipment and cranes surrounding it. Booms surround it to prevent any oil or other leaks from the vessel. A satellite image taken August 25th shows a submarine back at the same dock as the submerged vessel. It's not clear if it was the same one. It remains unclear if the affected submarine had been loaded with nuclear fuel or if its reactor was operating at the time of the incident. However, there has been no reported release of radiation in the area in the time since. China as of last year operated six nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, six nuclear-powered attack submarines and 48 diesel-powered attack submarines, according to a U.S. military report. News of the submarine sinking comes as China this week conducted a rare launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile into international waters in the Pacific Ocean. Experts say it marked the first time Beijing had conducted such a test since 1980. Hurricane Helene weakened to a tropical storm over Georgia with maximum sustained winds of 70 mph early Friday, the National Hurricane Center said. Helene continues to weaken while moving farther inland over Georgia. The storm was about 40 miles east of Macon and about 100 miles southeast of Atlanta, moving north at 30 mph at 5 a.m., the center in Miami reported. The storm made landfall in northwestern Florida as a Category 4 storm as forecasters warned the enormous system could create a nightmare storm surge and bring dangerous winds and rain across much of the southeastern U.S. There were at least three storm-related deaths. City officials in Tampa, Florida held a news conference on Friday morning and said police and fire department personnel were using boats to rescue people from Davis Island, which is a part of the city. We want to remain focused on our safety and well-being of every member in this community. We have responded to over 200 medical and fire-related calls," said Fire Chief Barbara Tripp. 
Our high rescue vehicles can't even get on Davis Island, said the city's mayor, Jane Castor. So the only way we're getting people off of the island right now is by boat. We want to remain focused on our safety and well-being of every member in this community. We have responded to over 200 medical and fire-related calls, anywhere from power lines down to burning vehicles, burning homes, and as well as any traffic accident, as well as serious medical calls. We currently are assisting temp police department with rescuing personnel. We have four John boats that's out there as well, uh, continue to do um, rescue from off of uh, Davis Island as well as South Tampa. But the water on Davis Island, our high rescue vehicles can't even get on Davis Island. So that's, you know, that flooding was what we had warned everyone about. So the, the only way we're getting people off of the island right now is by boat. Thank you.